Also, you're not supposed to be a civil war. You're supposed to be friends. You suck. Underoos. Wait a minute. Did you just call me Underoos? Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review and today we're taking a look at another Marvel Legends figure and it's from the Captain America Civil War Build-A-Figure series. It's the Iron Man Mark 46. So I found this when I found my Captain America. The, and these are the only two I have seen in retail recently here in Indiana for the Giant Man Build-A-Figure. It's been Cap and Iron Man. I haven't seen any of the other figures and uh, I don't know... I don't know why. Um, are they that popular? I'm sure Black Panther is, but the other two really kind of surprise me. They're not peg warming somewhere because they're comic book figures, but uh, I guess it is what it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Mark 46 armor in package. Of course, it's the new style that we've been getting for a few waves now. It says Captain America Civil War, Iron Man Mark 46. There's the figure, there's the build-apart, and there are his accessories. It's got the Captain America shield at the top. Uh, we get Iron Man on the side here, Iron Man on the side there. Uh, just kind of a quick close-up. Ding! Very cool. Here is the back of the packaging. And I really like the back of the box with the new art on the back. I think they did a good job with the photography. It's got a very, very minuscule bio. It shows all the other figures in this wave. There is Giant Man. So, again, a quick close up. Uh, there is the read up. If you want to pause and do so, you're more than welcome to. And then uh, here's Iron Man looking all kinds of cool. Here are the other figures in the wave. I have already reviewed Captain America, so if you want to see that, uh, check that out here. Uh, and then we got Iron Man in this review. There is a Black Panther, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, Nuke looks pretty neat. Nick Fury, eh. I just don't care for this version of Nick Fury. And then uh, we get the Red Guardian, which is a repaint Soviet version of Captain America. Uh, and then, of course, there's the Giant Man build -a figure, and that looks pretty cool, even though he's more large than giant. Oh, that's what she said. So, yeah, that pretty much takes care of it for the box. Let's go ahead and get Iron Man out of package and see what we think. So here we have Iron Man out of the package, and for the most part, I like this figure. There is some articulation issues I have with it. Um, do I like this more than the last Iron Man figure? Um, I don't know. It's uh, a little bit, I think, but I liked the open mask that we got with the last Iron Man figure, and... Um, this one does not. It comes with other accessories. Uh, he comes with additional hands. He's got an extra ass-grabbing hand that you can plug in the uh, repulsors with, uh, which is nice. So we do get some blue uh, repulsors, and they're kind of got this white paint on it, and it goes translucent. Uh, so these are pretty cool. You can plug these into the bottom of his feet as well. There was a previous Iron Man came with, I think orange ones, orange versions of these. So if you've got that, then you can have them coming out all over the place, looking kind of neat. And then of course we get the giant man build a figure arm. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so definitely pretty neat. I'm really gonna have fun building that figure when we finally get him together. As far as articulation on this figure, again, like I said, it's kind of um, hit and miss for me. He's got a diaphragm joint up here. It can look about that far back. It spins around. His head is on a ball joint, and it pops off really easy. Um, arr, come on, buddy. Get in there. Look at that. Get back on there. That's one thing I don't like about this figure. It does pop off really easy. Um, he looks up really far, looks down. He does have a neck uh, joint on it as well. His arms don't go very far up because of this armor, which is kind of a shame. His arm does twist around. He's got a double jointed elbow, which is nice. His wrists are on hinges and they twist. Um, nothing at the waist, which is unfortunate. His legs really don't go out very far at all. They don't go up very far, nor do they go back very far. So that's very unfortunate. He does have a really nice double-jointed knee, um, and I like how they designed the knee. Uh, that looks pretty cool. His feet go back a little bit, don't really go forward, 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 uh, but he does have ankle pivot, which is nice. 
Um, yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. Overall, he's just kind of, yeah, um, I don't know. It's a so-so Iron Man figure. Articulation is kind of so-so, but eh, at least we got one. Now, before anyone asks, yes, you can put the unmasked Iron Man Tony Stark head on this body. However, I will say it fits very, very tightly. The ball uh, is, I think, a little bit bigger on um, this one than it is the older one, but it will go on if you kind of rotate it down. Uh, it is very tight on it, so be careful if you do do that. Um, the other thing is he looks a little small-headed. <laughs> um, I'm going to come a close-up here. I don't know. I don't know if he just looks small-headed or the neck looks a little large. Um, the other one, I think, sits a little lower on this. But, I mean, it looks okay. The reds don't match. Um, this is a darker red than the rest of this. I mean, it's close enough, I guess. And then the gold is a little different, too. But again, um, I, you know, it's close enough. It looks uh, pretty decent uh, if, you know, you want to display this Iron Man with the mask open. Because we do see him with the mask open quite a bit in the Civil War movie. So, you know, I guess it's kind of nice that that will fit on this body. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I do like the paint apps on it. I like the gold, the silver looks nice. It is a different mold, so that is cool. I do appreciate that. The helmet looks good. Um, interestingly, there's no A for Avengers anywhere on the figure. Unlike the other Avengers, they've got the Tony Stark A logo everywhere. But like the upper back detail, I think they did a good job there. Uh, again, the silver and the gold highlights really, really look cool. And on the upper arm and on the shoulder piece right there with that silver, that looks really, really nice. Definitely digging it. Now, taking a look at the midsection of the figure, this is where it kind of drops a little bit because there is no paint apps on his lower back. A lot of sculpted detail, but no paint apps. And that's a bit unfortunate. I mean, that's a cost-saving thing, I guess. But, uh, you know, the rest of the arms look good. I like the forearms, all the detail on paint apps and these fists. He's got the little, looks like brass knuckles on his hands there, uh, which is very, very cool. I like the fact it comes with the interchangeable hands for the repulsors. Definitely nice, and uh, yeah, I mean, overall, it, it's pretty decent, but I think the lack of the paint apps on the lower back is probably the biggest downfall uh, on this figure as far as paint goes. And finally, taking a look at the legs, again, nice sculpting, nice details, nice paint apps. I really do like that. Now, the articulation fails a little bit in the legs here because you don't get a lot of range around his hips. The knees are very well done. I like the joints. I like how they uh, bend so far back and it looks natural in the toy, which is cool. Uh, the feet, again, kind of a misfire on the articulation. They don't go up very much um, and uh, it does at least have the ankle pivot, uh, which is very cool and can get you into some pretty decent poses. But the problem is without the hips moving around, it kind of, you know, doesn't really do that much. For comparison, here we have the Civil War Iron Man next to the Civil War Captain America and uh, War Machine. So definitely cool to see these three together. Um, yeah, I, he's a little taller than Cap, which he should be in the armor suit. And he's about the same height as War Machine there. And, you know, the more I look at this figure, I think the more I like it over the previous um, Iron Man figure. I just, I don't know. Uh, there's so many variations of the armor for Iron Man that uh, you, you could just go on and on and on and, and, and get all kinds of these figures, which, eh, you know, that's a dream of Hasbro. But definitely a new mold, which is cool. And, uh, yeah, not too terribly bad when you actually put him up with the other figures. So is the Iron Man Mark 46 from Civil War something you in your Marvel Legends collection? You know, yes, uh, it's a good, solid Iron Man figure. I like it comes with the repulsors. I like how you can put uh, the repulsors in either the hands or the feet. And if you've got the previous Iron Man figure that came with repulsors, you can use all of them uh, now, which is very, very cool. Uh, you can put the unmasked head from the previous version onto this figure. It 
a little tight, like I said, but it does work if you want to recreate the scene uh, where he's calling out Underoos in Civil War, which is pretty neat. And, uh, I mean, it looks pretty decent in a flight mode with the repulsors up on a uh, figure stand. So, uh, this is probably how this is going to get uh, displayed up on my shelf. I really do appreciate it. You know, overall, I like it. And if, you, if you're looking to build Giant Man, I mean, he's a must-purchase. So, definitely cool. Or, you know, you want to get all the Iron Man to make the Hall of Armors, definitely a must-have. So, there he is, the Iron Man Mark 46 from Captain America Civil War. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, and as always, look for more videos in the future.